are the eight best things to see and do in Monteverde, Costa Rica. I want to give you some information I wished I'd had my first visit. Choosing from all of the amazing places in Costa Rica is a challenge, even for me after 15 years. And I know that on your vacation, your time is precious. So I hope these condensed five minute guides help you with your Costa Rica planning and that you end up with the trip of your dreams. It's an enchanting destination known for its lush cloud forests, diverse wildlife, and exciting zip lines and hanging bridges. And we'll even sneak in three great places to eat that trust me, you don't want to miss. This one might surprise you. And that is, it might surprise you that it's not at the top of the list because most people go to Monteverde with the intention of going to the Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve, right? Number eight, if you have the extra time and money, check out the Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve or the Santa Elena Cloud Forest Reserve. I highly recommend you go with a guide if you're going to go. I have a few suggestions later on in the list that I would prioritize over the Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve. And here's why. Because number one, it's not a hanging bridge park. And number two, we saw way more wildlife outside of the park than we did inside by a lot. In fact, we even saw more wildlife in the driveway to the park than we saw inside the park. <laughs> now I want to stress that I fully support places like this and I recommend them when appropriate because conservation takes funding and as tourists we get to spend our money in ways that matter. So it's still on my list. Number seven. The orchid garden and cafe is a lot more fascinating than it might sound. Some of the orchids seem almost unreal and you get to learn about their delicate beauty and their importance in the ecosystem. The cafe is lovely. It really draws a crowd, especially for breakfast and lunch. Number six, I love bats and you might not yet although you might after a visit to the bat jungle. It's a fascinating exhibit dedicated to bats and you get to observe them and learn about them up close and in person. This next place offers coffee, shopping, eating, and a large lawn where you can stretch out and run around or let your kids run around. Starting with the coffee roaster on the corner that will draw you in by your nose. Then next door, there's a little organic shop with so much fun stuff. Next to that is my favorite spot for sweet treats and the best empanadas ever. There are two locations in town, one in the center and one here in this little commercial plaza. And lastly, a women owned co-op that serves local Tico cuisine, herbs straight from the garden and super great prices with lots of little trinkets and things that they sell to help support themselves. Number four, coffee and chocolate. How can you go wrong? Costa Rica is famous for its high quality coffee. Monteverde is one of the most prized regions. You also get to try homemade chocolate made right there from the farm. Number three is a real crowd pleaser. Take a walk in the jungle at night. Embark on a guided night tour through the cloud forest and witness its nocturnal wonders. King Kaju. Normally you see it very late at night, but well, we're seeing it right now. Experience the forest coming alive with the sounds of insects and frogs and other creatures that thrive in the darkness. With 80% of the jungle inhabitants being awake at night, this is a really fun way to see the diverse wildlife. Number two is a real hidden gem you won't find on many other lists, unless they got them off my last year's list. Catarata Los Morcielagos, it's called, or Monteverde Waterfall. A short walk down a stepping path and then across some magical little bridges and you will get to one of the most peaceful of places. The waterfall is a great place to spend some time and take a chilly swim if you dare. There's two other waterfalls in the Monteverde area that are a bit more of a trek. El Tigre can be done on horseback and the mysterious La Leona waterfall can only be reached with a guide. Number one on my list is to go to an adventure park. When you think of Monteverde, I bet you picture hanging bridges and zip lines. And that's for a really good reason. Costa Rica probably has more zip lines per square foot than anywhere else on earth, maybe. Monteverde for me is a super extra special place to get high up into those trees and experience life in the cloud forest. So whether you choose the Sky Walk and the Sky Tram or the Salvatura Park, it will be a memorable experience. You'll be glad you did. 
on the Skywalk experience, Costa Rica's longest hanging bridge, up to 180 feet above the jungle floor. For a more relaxing view, take the Sky Tram, a gondola ride that offers panoramic views of the cloud forest from above. Now a bonus tip. If you've seen our in-depth travel guide to Monte Verde, then this won't be a surprise to you. But if you haven't, then it really might surprise you to know that the very best place in Monte Verde to see wildlife is at Stella's Cafe. These are just a few of the many attractions Monteverde has to offer. Until next time, that's been 5 Minutes.